fue su madre, ya llegó el campeón Y es Moe, en el calzón Aquí en el sillón, come me King Kong <laughs> Say hello, we're at grandma's house Hola Hola, mamá. Máscara, máscara, máscara. Ponte la máscara, máscara, máscara. Ponte la máscara, máscara. Todo el mundo con la máscara, máscara. All right. We're going to go down memory lane and check out some of these photos. De donde compré el álbum. These are not related to us, okay? No. This, this just came with the... Don't worry about this. Ignore that. Oh, mira, Mickey. Uh-huh. And now you're 12. Look how cute. Wait. Look how little! There's my mama. Hola, ma. Hola. <laughs> Los años pasan. Pero yeah. gracias a Dios, le debemos mucho a la vida. No. Oh my Lucy. My sisters. <laughs> It's my grandma and my grandpa. Oh, there I am right there. It's my mom and dad when they were still married and in love. Todo se acaba. <laughs> Long time ago. I can see my... Hay que dar un aplauso a las que se deciden. Here I am with Big Mo. This is back in my college radio days. This is at Rec Shop Records. That's when he dropped that classic album. And uh, I was just a little kid, as you can see, starting off in the music business. This is uh, the Botany Boys, C Note, D Red, Houston Rappers. Oh, you were so little. This is what a uh, toe down. I was in college, just getting my interviews from my radio station. There's that red car I had. This is when they were painting it. Pictures with the fans. Big belt buckle. What? At the Coco Loco, the crazy coconut. This Friday, ESG is Slim Thug featuring Chingo Bling. <sighs> This is when we went down to uh, Jalisco for a promotion with Jose Cuervo. And uh, they took us out there to the agave fields. That was cool. What do you think about my outfit, Mickey? Different. I don't know. What is? What kind of style is that? This is Chingo Bling style right here. That looks cool. I actually like that outfit. Okay, this is when I was on MTV. Uh, I forget what year this was. It might have been 2006 or something. But uh, Sway, he came down and they put me on MTV. It was a segment called My Block. And as you can see, I had tamales ready. And well, we took Sway out to the hood and uh, I was just an up and coming artist. That segment, they re-aired it, they replayed it. It was a rerun. It was on MTV like nonstop. So a lot of people got to know me from that segment. So shout out to MTV, Sway, and all the people from New York that uh, you know decided to come to Houston and film the local rap scene. I remember I was a little nervous because I was going to be on music television, MTV, <laughs> back when they still played music videos. But uh, it was an honor to have, you know, the cameras and the hosts and everybody come down to the southeast side. This is on Edgebrook, uh, where all the taco trucks are. It was, it was a cool moment in my career. There's Cleto. Hasta salió Cleto, ¿verdad, mm -hmm. Cleto was on MTV. So that was hella dope. This is the Taco Shop music video. Shout out to Crisco Kid, Stunna. Back in the day, G Films, David Gaona. Uh, damn, they put a lot of makeup on me. <laughs> Taco Shop music video. That was a silly, silly song. Again, you know, I was just a rookie. <laughs> Had a crazy concept, crazy look, and I made crazy music. So here's my sister Pat doing hair and makeup. Uh, that's that's her background anyway. But she pitched in on the music video. And this is uh, Vanessa. She's in a lot of movies and TV shows now. And uh, she was one of the models. Chingo Bling at Power 106 FM. What? My boy Bash, Grim, Machete. How many years ago was this? Oh, here we are. Look, check it out. Chingo Bling, Baby Bash, and Danny Trejo. With the bobblehead. I had my little jewelry. That's a nice picture. These are like surprisingly really good quality. Chingo bling with the do rag. Power 106 LA. What up? Yo, that jacket. Is that whose jacket was that? It looks. I cool. don't even think that was mine. I think I just threw it on. I might have just borrowed it for the picture. Chingo bling at Warner Brothers. What? The homie DJ Big Sif. We go way back. Throwbacks. My boy Lucky. What? Power 106. Boy Mohawk, my 
dad and my and my brother Weeby, man. Rest in peace, Fifth Ward Weeby. You know he passed, right, Mick? Who is he, that? He did the song with Drake. What? Yeah. What? It's my friend from New Orleans. Oh wow. Yeah, he's featured yeah, on that uh, "Nights for What." What? That's cool. Yeah, that's my brother. All right, this is funny. So here's like my niece and my nephews cranking out CDs. They've just always, they've just always been involved. There's my mom. There's a stack of CDs. Little boy has his headphones on. But I think that's Eric, my nephew. That's Andrew, Alexis. I think those kids learned a lot that summer. <laughs> Some character. Look, Alex has on his headphones. <laughs> They're just working. Here's one of the uh, flea market stores that we had. As you can see, we had a lot of albums and mixtapes and uh, a TV playing, probably some music videos. Fans would show up. Here's a cutout. That's not even me. It's just a cutout <laughs> of me. En paz descanse, Cletito. Y aquí tenemos unas fotos de Cleto. Rest in peace, Cleto. ¿Lo tenías amarrado, mamá? De la patita cuando lo ponía enfrente en la fuente, en la fuente. Oh. Ahí está en la fuente, ¿verdad? What mm -hmm. is that, Elise? Rest in peace. Yeah. Yep, this is my uh, rooster. He used to be at all the car shows. He'd be in all the music videos. He'd be on the CD covers. And this was the shed where um, he'd sleep at night. Y su canción, Walk Like Cleto. Walk Like Cleto. There's my dad with Cleto. <laughs> my nephew, Alex, with Cleto. Oh, here he is, right here in the cage. Aquí va pa donde? Un car show o qué, ama? This is behind the scenes at a, a music video. This is me wearing a whole bunch of like prosthetic, like fake nose, and I was playing a character, so. And there's my dad. Here's some old school photos from a, a Baby Bash concert. I'm not sure where this was, but uh, my homie Bash. There's me, I believe that's Lucky. Nephew, baby bad. And we were on stage, man. Memory lane, rocking it. Throwing out posters and stuff. <laughs> Waving posters at people. Hey, who want a poster? <laughs> Here I am again with the poster. <laughs> Here I am again with the poster. Who wants a poster? This is uh, me, my cousin Cesar, and uh, Lucky Luciano. And uh, my cousin Cesar, Bash. There's me with the do-rag. What? DVDs, all kind of stuff or so. It's cracking. Wow. This is a, one of my birthdays. This is at Dalila's house. It's my sister Pat, my sister Dalila. They made me a funny cake. It's a picture of me as a kid acting a fool. My cousin Eddie, Jose, and Sandra. And uh, as you can see, I just look pretty overweight. It, it's a little depressing. Okay, how baggy? How out of shape. It looks like I can't even run down the block. Like this is, this is actually pretty depressing. I don't know what I was going through at this time. Hey, that's part of going down memory lane. You gotta sometimes look at chapters and phases where you really didn't have it together, you know? But makes you stronger and here we are, present day, A1. Here's my boy, me and Lucky out there in front of Roscoe's Chicken. I love that picture. Look at Pat is laughing. And you are just having fun. Yeah, I think they surprised me. I landed from a show, and uh, that was a, uh, a little birthday surprise. And then... <laughs> Mariachis and stuff. Look how big those jeans are. Huh? What is that? They're, like, really long. What, the shorts? No, the, the jeans. <laughs> this is uh, footage from the Like This and Like That music video. Shot it on film. It was a big production. It came out nationwide distribution through uh, Asylum, Warner Brothers. And uh, that was an interesting experience, dealing with out-of-town labels and, you know. But it was a learning experience. So, like this and like that music video is actually not even available on YouTube because it's a long story, <laughs> even though I paid for the video. Tantos recuerdos, Oh, precioso. So a ustedes les toca poner historias atrás para que that? las generaciones que siguen mi hijo sepan quién Do es I y de dónde, de dónde venimos. These kids are all grown up now. There I am. There's little Andrew. He's about to about to get married. He has his own barbecue business. My nephew Alex, he has two little girls and he's a grown ass man. Eric manages a, a whole restaurant. 
he's grown too. Alexis, she has two little boys, and she's happily married and grown. And, but here they were, babies. I was a baby too. <laughs> so this is the um, the truck that we had that was, you know, really good for events like this and. Um, it was like a mobile billboard too, you know, to promote stuff and just really get, it was guerrilla marketing. And uh, as you can see, sometimes people didn't like, <laughs> they didn't like what we had on there. So we had, we had the Candle Portis all written on one side because, you know, that's what we were promoting at the time. And uh, people didn't like it, see. They put go home. Or look, they took the T off. They can deport us all. <laughs> Jeez. And here they are again. They they deleted the can't. Eventually, it got stolen. It got oh, it got wow. it got illegally towed right here from this flea market where we had permission to park it like a mobile billboard. And that's one of the last they events. They really did not like that. Yeah, this right here is one of the last events. It was like a I think it was a DJ Screw Fest or a car show and Jeez, we, why did they we had food. That? People were in line getting food, but look they. Go home? Go home where? To Mexico? Basically. Yes. Oh. So, wow. so yeah. I mean, um, I've learned. I've learned over the years that this statement uh, is very polarizing. It's kind of divisive. So, it, it rubs people the wrong way. And we had a billboard. We had T-shirts. I mean, kids would wear the T-shirts to school, and um, and they'd make them turn them inside out. You know, you couldn't get on an airplane with that. They, people would stare at you and be like, hey, sir, can you, like, change your shirt? So, and even to this day, you know, here we are, the year 2020, and immigration is still a hot topic. It always will be. This is the land of opportunity. This is the greatest country. Everybody wants to come here. So it's a very touchy subject. You know, I'm, I'm a son of immigrants, so, you know, I'm pretty biased. Behind the scenes music video with my parents. There's mama. And uh, that's the homie Hector from the Rio Grande Valley. What do you think about my outfit, Mickey? What do you think about that vehicle? That truck is cool. What does it say? Chingo Blade? Yeah, that's the Mali Kingpin. It has a release date right there, 2004. That's cool. Good way to mark it. You know what I'm saying? Me and my mom. You look so young. Can you tell I'm a mama's boy? <laughs> Can you tell that I'm a mama's boy? Y aquí está mi mamá en vacaciones por ahí por ahí. Here's a picture of my mom at the beach. De vacaciones por ahí por ahí. Sí, mamá. Por ahí por ahí. Muchas memorias, ¿sabes qué se llama? Oh, sí, hermoso. Los años se pasan. Como agua corre el tiempo. Y luego mi bebé, mira, mi bebé, 12 years old. <laughs> you were just a baby in some of these little it. some of these pictures. Thankfully, my mom keeps track of all these pictures, and uh, she has a, quite a bit of photo albums. Si so, quieres pasar allá nomás para que tomes donde estoy trabajando con tanta foto. Tienes más. Bueno, organizándome. Okay, vamos. No miren para los lados, porque no limpiaron mi picture. Ta -da. Ta -da.